Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the end of August. So August 15th through the 31st. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? August 15th through the 31st. Flow. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is a destined change of course. So it looks like something is about to happen that is meant to happen for you. This is destiny. This is good luck. This is a lucky break. Something good is happening. This could be some sort of reward. Don't fight it. The Wheel of Fortune is something good. One significant chapter of your life is coming to an end and a new one is beginning. It's because you allow it. Okay, you're allowing it to happen. So, something is happening and it's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is a this is good and fortunate. Um, this is great, put it that way. It's great. It's destiny. So you have a destined situation that is playing out at the end of August. What do we got for Aquarius? It's meant to be, whatever it is. Oh, there's too many there. Aquarius. <laughs> well, we'll take them. There's only two, so we'll take them. Whatever this is, it's going to lead to victory. It is. So we got somebody here that is thinking about making an offer. I mean, this is a man. It's not a friggin' woman, okay? So we have a man that is thinking about what he has to offer. He's thinking about making an offer. He may have manifested something. He may have met his match. He may have seen his match. You know what I mean? The magician in the mirror. This is when... You know, you, you look in the mirror and what you see, what, what do you see? You, you know, if you, you, when I see mirror, you could, you, I think about, you know, oh, sorry, I heard something outside I was listening to. Anyway, um, somebody has manifested something. Maybe they've manifested their soulmate. This is the magician card. This is a person that takes action to call in their soulmate or whatever the case is to call in whatever they want. This is also as above, so below. So, you know, bringing something that you have wished for to you now. So I think that we have somebody here that has seen something. It's like I, I see, I see an opportunity. Um, and now somebody is thinking about making an offer, thinking about what the next step is. So I feel like at the end of August we have this man that is thinking about what he has seen. He has manifested something. His it's like his prayers has been have been answered and now there's there's some sort of you know thinking what should I do about this? What should I do about this now that I have called in what I've been looking for. Now we have two tens tens which equal which equal ones okay so some, somebody has definitely called in a soulmate seriously and, and if you think about the magician card i don't know what that number is i'm gonna look but in the tr traditional tarot it's a one 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 your thoughts become things we could have somebody that may not have even been intentionally calling in their soulmate but they have Tens are also completions it's a completion of one cycle so you guys are completing a cycle in your life and we definitely have a man here that is thinking about, you know, making some sort of offer. He's thinking about the energy he felt as well. You know, I think there's definitely a connection here. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, however that resonates with you, this is an opportunity to heal. It is worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so i feel like you may have come in contact with somebody that you have been waiting for or you're about to aquarius aquarius is about to Whew, well that's destiny it's a change of course Don't fight it. Uh, 
Oh, you got a new suitor, don't you? Aquarius has a new suitor, somebody that, that may be a little bit younger than you. They may be a little bit younger than you. This person is very well suited. This person is, you know, a positive influence. This is good news. You may you may be extending an, an, an invite or you may be invited to go somewhere. I feel as though we, you're going to be receiving good news or delivering good news to somebody. Opening up. This is what you deserve. Don't give up on this person. Give this person a chance. Don't, you know, you may have a barrier up. You may have a barrier up and you need to open up. You need to allow, allow. Um, this person is honest. This person is truthful. I think that you can trust them. Oh, but you don't have faith, huh? You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel as though you're really worried. You're worried about letting them, this person in. You're worried about their, if they're honest. You're worried about, um, you know causing upheaval in your life. I feel like you you're trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to be real. You're trying to keep things fair. I think you want to be fair. You want to do the right thing. I think that you're really trying to protect yourself from getting hurt. You probably are very worried about um you know, getting in a commitment with somebody because you're afraid of, you know, what are they going to use you? Are they going to what are they going to use me for? What are they going to do to me? Um, I feel like you need to, it's time for you to be happy. You're not going to have to prove yourself to this person. You can just be yourself. You don't have to, just because the last person was, uh, a lose situation because they, they brought, they were, whatever, they had mental issues. Doesn't mean the next one doesn't, I mean, does, <laughs> does, does, okay. So that's what you think though, right? You're probably scared because I think the last one probably had some mental issues and you know, you're probably a little fearful. Um, but anyway, um, thinking about it, take all the time you need to think about it. I feel like there's an opportunity to have a relationship with somebody. Maybe you start out with a few drinks, you go out on a date, whatever. I feel like you should have fun. You should let, you should give this person a chance. I see that there's lack of faith here. I feel like you have somebody that is, has, I think this, this person has already entered your life. You, you've seen them already. Something has happened. You've already seen them and you're excited about it. This is an exciting opportunity. I feel like there's an attraction here and this person is well suited for you, but you have your, this barrier up. You need to, you need to, um, drop your defenses and, you know, open your heart, open your heart. Okay, I feel like whoever you're dealing with has a big heart. This person is very intuitive. This person is very big hearted. This person is kind and compassionate. And I feel like, you know, you need, you should be opening up to this person. Open up to this person. Some of you, the challenge is giving up your independence. You know, you're, the challenge is... Do I want to be independent or do I want to get into another commitment? Or the challenge could be, I'm afraid of being alone. The challenge is independence. That This is the challenge position. You know, either, because this can go so many ways because we have so many people watching these. The challenge is independence here at the end of August. Either the challenge is becoming independent or giving up independence. That is the challenge. You know, you may, you may be really, you may feel like you don't have enough to offer. You may be really focused on your job. You know, you may feel like, oh, my business is too big or my business is too much of a priority and you don't have time for it. Or you may, for some of you, you may feel like you keep, you have to stay in the commitment you're in because of the money, because of the finances, because of the assets, you know? So this can go so many ways because we have so many people, like I said, watching this, but I feel like we have somebody here that... You know, there's financial constraints that are causing, you know, somebody to not make the offer that they want to make. There's there's some level of bitterness here. Um, 
You may be resentful. You may be you're growing resentful. You may be feeling cold and withdrawn. Maybe you you're, you've been hurt really, 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 really bad by somebody, and you just don't trust anybody. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I think that you're really afraid of being hurt. You're really, really, and you may be afraid of of being alone. Maybe you're afraid, you know, that if you follow your heart, you'll end up alone. Or if you follow your heart, nobody will love you. I don't know what the case is, but I think that you have a big heart and that, you know, independence is big here. In, this is independence and this is independence. Independence is big here, but we all deserve to be loved. We all deserve to be loved. So I think there's an opportunity for you to go out and have fun and and basically play with somebody else. And it could lead to something. It could. Um, you need to take action. You need to think positive. You need to be confident. You need to hold your head up high. You really, 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 really need to think positive. You need to be strong. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't matter. If everybody is here. But I feel as though we have somebody that is going to take action. This person is going to go after his, what he is passionate about because he has this desire. So I think we all have desires to be, met, to be met, and I feel as though you are probably going to come together with somebody who is big-hearted, somebody that is self-sufficient. Whoever this person is that is coming into your life, they can take care of you. They can take care of themselves. This person takes care of themselves as well. So it's not like you're going to have to do all the work. There's going to be equal give and take with this person. So you can let your worry go. You can stop worrying about it. Let your barrier down. You know, don't let the past mental person. I think you're dealing with somebody who is mental. I'm not saying that in a mean way either because I know I'm going to get a comment. You shouldn't be saying that. But there are some people that have some, some serious mental disabilities that they don't acknowledge. Okay? So, you know, I'm just being honest with you. So... Don't let that hold you back. Take action. Go after your, what you're passionate about. Go get your desires met. Go have some fun. Open yourself up. Let this person, give this person a chance. This is an exciting opportunity. I think this person is well suited for you. You could have a lot of fun. My advice is to go for it. I'm not sure what happened or when the camera died. I looked up and it was black. So I'm just going to keep going. But I, what I was saying is I think that you should give this person a chance. I think that, you know, you may be invited or you may invite somebody. It could go either way to go out for drinks, to, you know, go out on a date or something. And it could lead to a commitment. Okay. So I feel like you need to give somebody a chance. I, whoever made poor decisions in the past, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I see that somebody has made some poor decisions. And you're probably very worried about your money. You're probably worried about, you know, what if this if this costs me money? I don't think it's going to cost you money because I think whoever you're dealing with can take care of themselves. I think this will be an equal partnership. So I feel like you need to open yourself up. You need to stop closing yourself off. You need to let somebody love you. You need to... You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved. Give your energy away. Go ahead. Give your energy to somebody else. This is meant to be. It's destiny. If you are single, there's an opportunity, I feel, to get into a partnership with somebody. A commitment. You, if you haven't met this person, you're going to meet them soon. I think that you have, though. This is, this is your past position. I think that you have already met this person. And I think there's an attraction. But I feel like you, you, you know, you're really focused on everything but love. And you need to give love a chance. Because whoever you're dealing with 
has a very big heart and they can take good care of you and it won't be one-sided and they will not use you and that's my advice good luck